Hey everyone, Mechanical Nightmare Fox MNF here, and today I am doing a dueling Nexus uh, video with uh, Derpy Hooves here. Say hi, Derpy. Hello. And what dueling Nexus is is that it's a site to play Yu-Gi-Oh on, and that is what we're going to do today. So, so Derpy, would you like to tell everybody what kind of deck you're going to be playing? Basically, I'm playing a broken as fuck Exodia deck. So get ready for. So just know, all I'm gonna be doing all sorts of shenanigans this video. <laughs> well, if you're gonna play Exodia, I'm gonna play Exodia. <laughs> so. Yep. So if you're so if you're ready, you know, then then we can begin. <laughs> but yeah, that is. But yeah, honestly. Hmm. Yeah, honestly. Oof. Not even joking though. So you're going I, in first. Okay. Interesting start to my hand. And you can see that I already decided to use one of my cards from the very start. Yep, I can see that. So yeah, only you know, already I already got the head. Thought of extravagance. Oh, I remember that. Any response to that? Reckless Greed. Shutter Greed. Ledger of Ledger Man. Oh, I can see the type of deck that you're actually running. I can see that the whole point is to draw as many cards as possible. So I can see that yeah, that you're that you have a lot of cards in your deck that allow you to draw other cards. Yes. I will flip my legacy of Yadakaratsu and I will flip my metaverse. And I will be activating my Mystic Mind. <laughs> so you have seen chain stuff like that before? Yes. Though the downside is to using that card is each time I draw something or you draw something, the person that's drawing loses like 500 life points each draw. So that's both, you know, that's both good for me and bad for me at the same time. So yeah, I'm going to try to. I'm gonna be careful with what cards I lay down since I don't want to drain myself out too quickly. Proud of prosperity. I will add another copy of Ledger of Ledger Main. And do that. Pass. I just wonder, am I gonna literally get all pieces of Exodia, or am I gonna end up just drain, you know, just winning by draining you out? Don't know. Because I know, and I got another piece of the puzzle. So I got two, you know, so I got two Exodia pieces currently. The fact that it costs just to lay cards down is ridiculous.
Oh, I can see what you are doing. You literally, those. Oh, short of greed. Yeah. Oof. And I have not activated them yet. Oh. <laughs> Pretty clever, honestly. You know, I see that I'm not the only one who has cards that are broken. Well, this is a more modern deck that you could play in a legal tournament, so. And you can tell that I'm basically setting up my defense already. I can see that, yes. <sighs> see, but the thing is, like, with this deck here, light, light points don't matter to me. And you can tell that I have a plan, too. After all, I know that, you know, that you could possibly try to ship away at my life point. So I, so I have kind of a way that I can easily gain life points back if I need to. This, this deck doesn't rely on uh, hitting you for life points. Oh. But that is clever though, right? Having a card that can not only inflict damage, but can give me life points and... Not a duality. And... <laughs> well, I see Solemn Judgment. Yeah. What did Solemn Judgment exactly do again? Was it a card that... You, uh, you pay half of your life points to negate the, uh, the effect of a card. Oh. I will activate my legacy of Yadagoratsu. I will wait. But yeah, basically what I'm trying to do is trying to kind of see if I can get more Exodia pieces, but also at hmm, but also at the same time trying to gain back any life points that I lost since I did lose some. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> All right. Next round. <laughs> you it's it's funny. You literally beat an Exodia deck with an Exodia deck. Yeah. <laughs> I am ready to I am ready. <laughs> so you're going first again. <gasps> not a great opening starter for my hand, I'm not going to lie. Huh. But yeah, can't you basically see that I'm ready to, you know, that I'm ready to, you know, that I'm basically at least started with, yeah. you know, that I'm at least to some extent started? Yeah, I'm assuming you didn't get a good starter either. Okay. Part of destruction. Uh The reason why I decided to get rid of that is the fact that basically I accidentally that that's a big oof. Did you miss I me? Ac I accidentally used Raigeki on myself when I meant to use it on you. That's hilarious. <laughs> What's the Stark War dealing? Throw one and discard. Oof. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say no to that. <laughs> May have cost me half of my life points, but I, I can't.
Hopefully that was worth it. I literally can't do anything right now. Oh, so are you using Cauldron of the Old Man? Yep. You know, you could just burn me, right? <laughs> yeah, good point. <laughs> just trying to make sure that I have enough life. I will life activate hold. the silent, lob silent lobby in my hands. I will give that to you. But yeah, you do have a point, though. I could I could start using that account for burn yo not yo that card for burn damage. But what fun would there in that if I constantly used it for burn damage? Oh yeah, by and, the way, by the way, uh, if you have more than three cards in your hand, kind of lobby makes it, makes it to where you can only have uh, three cards in your hand at all times. So you can't have anything more than three cards in your hand by the end of by the end of the phase. But I feel like I'm going to lose here because I I use that solemn judgment when I probably should have used it on the cauldron of the old man. So. Does that mean I'm essentially prevented from y drawing Exodia? Yeah, pretty much. Since you can't have more than three, car since you can't have more than three cards at the end phase, you know, like when it's your end phase, you have to make sure you have only three cards in your hand at all times. That actually essentially makes Exodia useless, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it funny that I'm literally not even drawing Exodia and I'm getting yeah. really Close to getting the W here. Yeah. Wow. Alright, next game. I will be gone first. And I already got my combo already. Activate Silent Wobby. You get to draw a card, I gain 2,000 life points. Mystic Mine. So you're gonna just burn me to death, huh? <laughs> <laughs> See, the point of this deck is for me to give my to give my opponent a monster, where I don't where I don't summon a monster whatsoever. <sighs> because Mystic Mine here basically prevents my opponent from attacking me but also not, while they control more monsters than i do not only that they cannot activate their effects and you cannot activate effect monster effects that are in your hand either so think of this think of mystic mind as a big old skill drain in a in a field spell basically <laughs> but then again you know that what i'm mainly relying on is Yo, know, is that one card, you know, is Cauldron of the Old Man when it comes to being able to do anything with this deck since, if I recall correctly, this deck doesn't have any powerful cards. 
the last time, you know, when it comes to monster cards. I mean, other than Exodia, that is. Wow. And gonna... Wow. A lot, a lot of back row. You mean the fact that you could tell that I'm after your life points? Yes. Not to mention you do 300 points of damage for each counter. And you don't lose those counters. So you've actually seen decks similar to this? Yes. Because yes, I'm get drawing a Exodia, but at the same time, I'm mostly just... Yo, you can see that my main objective is to just burn you to death. Yeah, I can see that. The thing is, like, some judgment doesn't stop the activated effect of the spell card. while it's in play. And I don't have any back row removal. Like, I literally need to draw into Exodia. Jeez. Like what, you have to burn me like what? One more time and I'm dead? Um, Technically, it only goes up by three each, you know, three life, you know, 300 life points each turn. Well, e well, it's 300 per counter. But you see how many counters you have on that card? Yeah. And look, look at the life that I'm at right now. So what are you going to do for your turn? Hmm. Because these are technically both decks where, where life doesn't really matter. Struggling out here. Wow, okay. 
I think next I'm gonna duel you with a different deck. <laughs>